So we're going to move ahead and CGTN's correspondent, or rather my co-sports scene co-host Wang Dong, talk to former Germany internationals Carl Heinz Riedel and Patrick Owomoyela about the England and Denmark semi-final. The Borussia Dortmund greats said in form England have a big chance to make it to the final, while the Danish fairy tale may also continue even without Christian Eriksen. Given that England will have at least one, if not two, uh, home court advantage uh, chances there, do you think it's sort of like a double-edged sword? You know, it could give you a lot of motivation. On the other hand, it could give you a lot of pressure. I mean, of course, it's. I think it's 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 rather motivation than pressure. Um, they they finally ha had a good result, a great result. Obviously, a two two no win over Germany was a good result also. But but this this four zero gave them another bit of, of, of power, another bit of an, uh, a bigger chest and uh, some room to breathe. And now they're just in the semifinals. They've been there in the World Cup as well against Croatia. They lost that. Mm -hmm. So um, they want to do one better this time at least and get to the finals. I think they, they, the, the team is talentedly young. They have, have a great squad, great names, great players. Finally, Jaden Sancho got to play a little bit more than, than before in this tournament. Mm. Uh, so who is really the key figure in this whole team of England? Is it going to Lou Shaw or Raheem Sterling or Captain Kane? Harry Kane, he's coming back. He, had, he was very criticized uh, on the beginning of the tournament, but now it looks like he finds his uh, way back to scoring. Mm -hmm. And uh, Raheem Sterling, uh, maybe even from, from the England squad, he's the best player so far. But as you said before, they didn't even concede one goal. So uh, it looks right. like the, the defenders, uh, they are really, really strong on both sides with uh, Shaw and uh, Walker. They are very quick players on the side. So. Even in the in the center was with uh, McQuay and Stone, they're really good uh, depth there. So I think uh, the key thing is uh, they have a stabilized uh, defense, but uh, also going up front they're very strong. Uh, mm. Unfortunately, we didn't see so far uh, a lot of uh, Chain Sancho. That seems this team must be really good. If uh, Chain Sancho cannot, play <laughs> yeah. then yeah. Uh, you must have a really uh, fantastic player around him. Right, right. If the Danish, uh, if you will, fairy tale will still continue, yeah. what do you make of it, Patrick? It, do they have a shot at all? Yeah, of course they do, because they leave all, all, all they have on the pitch. They, they, they play with all their heart and, and so much passion. And of course, they, they play a little bit extra for, for their big star, Christian Eriksen. Eriksen, yeah, like of course, this. yeah. Denmark is a team, they're very, uh, um, uh, very determined. They are very uh, focused, tactical. They are, they are, they are very good. Mm -hmm. um, they might not have the biggest stars. I mean, Christian Eriksen probably was the biggest star and he's out of the tournament, unfortunately. But they played as a team. They, I think they came even closer to the after that Eriksen incident. So um, they, they cover up, for, let's say, maybe a little bit less uh, uh, quality against England. They're probably going to cover that with a lot of passion, a lot of soul that they're going to leave on the pitch and, and as, a, as a group of players.